All right, guys, been working my way through the challenge bucket, and I got three locks here from Tahoe Picked. And the first one I grabbed was this nasty looking thing, and I thought this would be perfect. It won't take but a few minutes, very smooth, almost sloppy. And I turned it around and I saw immediately this thing has cancer. It's got a tumor growing right here on the side of it. So there's a normal Bible, and then looks like Tahoe Picked has soldered another Bible on this to give you two things to fight. So I grab a look at this key and he's drilled the side of it to fit those pins. So I thought to myself there's not enough beer in the fridge to deal with that. So then I grabbed a shiny one. Nice, beautiful, it's a Lockwood. These are really nice locks, high tolerance, long like that. It's probably got a lot of pins in it. And then I take a look at this key, seven pinner, and you can see the challenging bidding. So I thought maybe that's not the right choice either. So let me grab that third one. This strike three, I, I think. Oh, that's easy. It's a Yale. It's not too shiny. The Bible, It's not too long. Let me take a look at that key. And then a cardiac arrest. Great. But I got to say, out of all three of these locks, this is probably the only one I got halfway, half a chance on to get open today. So let's give it a shot. That was lucky. All right, it does work very smoothly. Despite that obscene bidding, a little hard to get in and out, but you kind of would expect that. I'm going to try top. It's a pretty wide keyway, so I'm going to try top of the keyway. That'll fit in there. That'll fit. Look how sloppy that thing is. Man. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. That ought to do it. And I'm going to try because it's a wide open keyway, and I've also seen this key, so I kind of know... But I would try to use the deepest hook that I have anyway, and with a wide open keyway, the DeForest Diamond's for me perfect. So I'm going to try to force this one. I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to go ahead and go clockwise. I'm going to try to f put heavy tension and see if I can force a couple of pins. See what happens. Sometimes it works, but I can't even get underneath the pin too, so I'm going to have to lighten up on the tension. I gotta click on two. Okay, that was four. Okay, that was pin two again. I got a very slight turn in the core. I don't know if you saw that. I'm on five. I'm having trouble getting under him. I'm going to go ahead and, he's the only binder, so, oop, I was going to try to get under him and give him a little nudge, and it looks like we lost our false set. Okay, I'm lightening up on my tension now, figured that's not the way to go with this lock. Especially if you got serrations, like I believe we do, I got no feedback off this thing. No counter rotation, nothing. All right, that was pin one. I did get a slight turn on the core there. I'm on four. Get under him. I'm getting a little counter rotation off him. And there we go. We're open. All right, so four is definitely a spool. Oops. Four is definitely a spool. Uh, let's go ahead and open him up and see what we got. I'm going to zoom the camera back out so the focus works. Uh, we do have a key, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and lock him back up. And we're going to need a Phillips, which I happen to have. Put this right above it. There we go. Turn it 90, and I happen to have a split. All right, perfect fit on there. Make sure we're lined up, and just, just slide that dude out. There's all six of them, and I've seen some weirdness already. A little trouble getting that key out. Homemade nasty thing. Another homemade nasty thing. Spool on top, that's a serrated on top. 
that's a spool on top and that's a little bitty serrated guy and let's take a look oh yeah we're completely come on focus for me everything on it is threaded just like we thought and let's see what we got in the top Trying to do this through the lens is probably not a good idea. It is a very neatly serrated, very small pin. I've never seen one quite like it. We'll look close and get a zoom on it here in a second. Another very nicely serrated one. Oh, another one of those weird. We're going to take a look at those for sure. I have never seen those. It is serrated, but with a wider margin on one side. These springs are very powerful and they're getting in the way. Let me go ahead and pull them out before we go any further. They're popping way up into the... There we go. Another weird looking thing. Another one. And the last one... Where are you? He's stuck there. Looks like he's stuck right at the shearline. Let's see if he pops out. There's another spring. Looks like six is stuck. He's locked solid. He's not going anywhere. That thing is pinned in place. I want—I don't know if that's deliberate, but he is not moving to save his life. What in the world? All right, just for fun, let's go ahead and pop the top of this thing off. If I can get a screwdriver in there. Okay, so it does have a spring in it. He's jammed. He's, the spring is jammed behind that pin. You know, I've been having really bad luck with springs this last few days. So, I don't know if it was during installation or what, but the pin is jammed in. It caught a piece of that spring, and that's why he's not coming down. Let's see what he was. I'm going to try to pop him out of there. It, there he goes. Yeah, he's another one of these weird-looking serrated. I don't think he came into play. Our pin will come out. And now when we take a look at these, you'll notice the Bible is also threaded. Get light on it. All six threaded there as well. All right, let's get the spring out of there. Let's go ahead and line these guys up correctly and give you a look at these pins. Why do they always come out upside down? You guys ever notice that, or is it just me? All right, here's what we're looking at. These are all homemade, I believe. Um, this is a spool with a little serration on it. This is just the only standard one in there. Spooled, serrated, and then big spool on that one. I'm going to ignore number six. I honestly don't think he came into play. Uh, I felt the pin, but he was jammed. There was no way I was moving him, even with a pick inside of there. Upper pins are where the real alien technology comes in. These are obviously homemade. You have a wide part on one end and very thin on the other. And you got, well, th four of those actually, except this one in pin number four has a deeper spool on it. And then this one is straight up all serrated. So all designed to catch in those nasty serrations, both in the core and in the Bible. He didn't... Uh, he didn't try to save any money on not threading anything. Anyway, there you go. Tahoe picked. Thank you, sir, for the lock. If this was the easy one, man, I'm not looking forward to those other two. I'm going to go out and buy like four cases of beer to work my way through these. Anyway, thanks for the locks. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal.